Yeah. Hey, what's up everyone? It's your boy Nick from Mad Dad Built. So, in this video, I want to show you how I built this super modern hanging light fixture to go in my modern kitchen island in my modern kitchen. And I think it turned out rad, so you're going to want to stick around for this one. And as always, roll that intro. Yo, what's up everyone? So yeah, like I was trying to say, this video is to go along with my classy kitchen island video I made a few weeks back. I'll link that in the description down below. So I start off by figuring out the position and the size of the hanging light. I apply some painter's tape around the perimeter of the top just to protect it while I make my markings. I then divide the length of the countertop into three thirds, marking each side of the top. I then split the width in half, making a mark either end. Using my DeWalt laser level which I picked up from my local Home Depot, I lined up the marks creating a reference line upon my ceiling. I then lightly marked out the locations for the two lights. I then did the exact same down the width of the countertop. The reason why I went two lights a third of the countertop distance apart is so that I have an equal gap in between the lights as well as an equal gap either end of the lights. Once I got my positions and my measurements sorted out, I made a start on the base of the hanging light. I start off by flattening two one and a half inch thick pieces of white oak on my jointer. To maintain the same look, I'm using offcuts of the material that I used for the countertop on the kitchen island below the lights. I then brought the material down to inch and a quarter in thickness using my planer. I then cut my material to 5 inches in width. I squared at one end and then made a mark at the other end at the final measurement that I wanted and then made some markings for my domino. Dominoes, biscuits or dowels aren't really necessary for a glue up this small but I like to use them to help me align the boards when I clamp them together. I glued the two boards together using wood glue and then clamped them down flat to my workbench. The next day I removed the piece from the clamps and then removed any excess glue using a scraper. I cut the board to its final length which turned out to be 48 inches, which was 10 inches bigger than the distance of the two lights apart. Then sanded the piece using my drum sander. I made a mark where my two lights are going to be. I then at those marks drilled a four inch hole to allow for the four inch electrical ceiling box. I used a 4 inch hole saw for this, but you could probably get away with using a jigsaw. I 
I then start by making the shadow box which is what mounts the light fixture to the ceiling. I rip down a piece of scrap material into three pieces of one and a quarter by one and a quarter inch. I then made those pieces into a frame making sure that the inside of the frame is slightly bigger than the outside of the two lights. I added two extra support pieces on the inside of where the lights would go. This will create extra material for the light boxes to fix to. I then filled all the screw holes using quick drying filler. and sanded it flat in my drum sander. I cut two blocks of wood to the same size of the inside of the shadow frame. This is what's gonna help attach the light fixture to the shadow frame. I marked and drilled a few holes through the shadow frame into the support blocks. This way I can attach the support blocks to the shadow frame by using threaded inserts so that I can be removed and taken apart as many times as it needs to be. Whilst it attached to the shadow frame, I glued and screwed the support blocks to the light fixture. I gave all pieces a good final sand by hand. I then finished the light fixture using Osmo oil, giving it two coats allowing eight hours to dry in between. I painted the shadow frame matte black to help create a shadow line. Now it's time to install the lights. I made two marks center of the island. And then on those center points, I attached the shadow frame to the joists above. I then attached the finished light fixture to the shadow frame using threaded inserts. I then drilled the four inch holes through the ceiling for the electrical boxes. The ceiling boxes that I used are deep enough to go through the whole light fixture and the ceiling. 
so that way the electrical cables aren't in contact with any combustible material. I screwed the sealing boxes into the shadow frame, flushed with the underside of the finished light fixture. I then had the electrical cables brought through and then safely wired up the lights. I made sure that the lights are equal height and then this project was finished. I'm really happy how this turned out. I feel like the white oak was a great added feature to make these somewhat basic lights more interesting and more modern. And I feel like it ties the kitchen together really well. So as always, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. I would appreciate that so, so much. This video is part of our home DIY series and we have a bunch more interesting home DIY videos to come out. So you want to stick around and stay tuned for that. If you had any comments or questions, please don't hesitate to ask me down below. If you want to go see some more day to day stuff, please go follow at raddadbuilds on Instagram. And as always, stay rad. Peace.